Hi Smiths, thank you so much for being here today. All right, so I wanted to do a video about the current projects, the current projects that I'm working on. And so let's just begin with this one since it's already out. I am working on a sweater pattern called The Boyfriend by The Noble Thread. It is on Ravelry and it is a free pattern. Um, I am using yarn from dyers here in Japan. This one is actually a lace that I have kind of doubled up and I think it is it has some silk in it and that's why it's kind of shiny. Uh, the yarn dyer is called Mythica Fibers and I originally created or I knit up the dotted rays pattern by Stephen West and I made a lot of mistakes. That's my first ever shawl. I ended up unraveling it and using it for this project. I believe uh, because it's not 100% wool, uh, hopefully it will be easier to wear in the early summer. I'm hoping to finish this by then. It's already hot uh, here in Tokyo. The other day was 27 degrees. Uh, which is way too hot. But anyways, I, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in time for that, but I'm doubling it up with this yarn here by You and I. And it's such a pretty, like, colorful, vibrant... Oh, that looks so pretty, eh? Um, but I didn't want it to be full out just this yarn. And so I kind of toned it down with this one. And this is the... The fabric looks like and it's very pretty there's still specks of color um, but it's kind of neutral in a way it's not too in your face you can see that so I've doubled it up and I think the hem is supposed to roll up like this but if I don't like it I might kind of research and figure out um, if there is a way to minimize this rolling I'm not sure yet. I have to try it on and see, but it is a bottom up, my first ever bo bottom up uh, design. And so I'm not really <laughs> sure uh, how it's going to turn out, but I'm so far I'm really, really, this combination is so much fun to kind of knit up and see all the different colors and I'm having a really fun time. I'm kind of, I've kind of s slowed down a bit because I need to find something to gra gradually um, how do I say I need another yarn because I've, I've this is all that I have left I mean I could I could probably reach out to the dyer here and see if she has any of this one but um, in her online shop she does not so I'm trying to find out another yarn uh, maybe that's more appropriate for the summer season because this bottom part um, is mainly these two and then I'm hoping to kind of gradually <laughs> fade into something like maybe lighter up here um, so I'm trying to do a little bit of research to see if there's something available and so that's why I've kind of slowed down a bit because this is all I have left and I want to use some of this for part of the sleeves as well so that there is a nice fade going on so this is the boyfriend sweater by the noble thread and I've also picked back up the Stephen West shawlography. Uh, I don't know why it's taking me so long to kind of get into it. Uh, it's on and off for me and it's okay like I'm not in a rush. Let's see which is the right way. This is the wrong way and then this is the right way and I'm still on this wedge part here and I've made a mistake. You can see this part, this purple part I've done. Maybe I did it twice, I'm not sure, but I, I am not in the mood to kind of take it out again and redo it. Uh, because this is a shawl just for myself, or maybe I'll gift it to my mother, I'm not sure yet. But uh, the reality is I'll sit down and if I only have like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I'll just do a row or two and then that's it. So it, that's why it's taking me so long to finish this lovely shawlography by Stephen West. I think it'll be a lot of fun to make a lighter version. 
uh, with lighter colors because it is a very fun knit and um, I do have to follow the instructions I can't intuitively figure it out um, even though this seems like a simple knit and purl back and forth I always mix up the different colors and I have to make sure I'm on the correct line and so I'm always looking at the pattern but it's a very uh, fun yet challenging type of pattern and so I'm having like I said I'm having a lot of fun doing it but it's just taking me a lot of time I think I had a lot of fun with this section here so that's the Stephen West shawlography and the yarns that I'm using is the Holst garn I never uh, used this before but a lot of people mentioned that it blooms up nicely and so I'm, I'm assuming that uh, once I block this and put it in water it will look totally not totally different but um, it'll kind of fluff up a little bit more then are my socks and I'm just doing a simple vanilla toe up sock this one is a little bit has more stitches and what when, when I fit it onto my foot it was too wide so with this one I made an effort to make it I think I decreased by four in four uh, stitches but um, you can see the difference there and this fits a lot nicer I need to make a note of that and yes somebody mentioned uh, that this is a sport weight and I didn't even I just totally assumed that it was fingering oh I don't know if I have the label still here and don't think I do but um, yeah when I bought this in Canada it was I think it's it's called Croy socks so I just uh, totally assumed that it was a fingering weight and I think there's I'm, I'm still very much uh, beginner so yeah I, I assumed that fingering equals socks and or socks equals fingering weight and that's totally not the case so just be careful <laughs> uh, make sure you read the labels um, before doing anything like if you're making a project or anything like that but yeah these are just for myself at home so I'm having a lot of fun with this this yarn because it has this like self marl type of fabric which is nice and it kind of fades and like I mentioned in the other video this orange from Fiberesque here in Japan is like a almost like a perfect match to this orange bit here in the Croy's sock it's it's just <laughs> so funny how it uh, it's kind of meant to be almost um, but yes yeah, so I'm um I know there's this like one sock syndrome you finish one sock and then you don't end up doing the second one so I made sure to do it right away I, I did the toe around toe version and yes I had a difficult time it, it looks pretty messy here with the heel flap and gusset because um, I just I didn't research it ahead of time and I just kind of went with the flow um, because I wanted this part to be in this solid color but I think with this I'm gonna I'm not I'm not too picky with it like I said it's for myself so once I finish this I think I'm just going to uh, once I finish this heel part this part I think I will just do with the regular uh, Croy's sock yarn from here and above yeah when I was decreasing this part I, I was switching the yarns to this one and it was really slowing me down and not I just lost motivation um, so I think after I finish this portion and then this portion I will just continue with the this yarn here and just kind of knit it up and I don't think I'll do too much um, I didn't bind this off because I don't know how much yarn I have left in here um, I mean if it's different lengths it's not a big deal it's just for myself at home so there are the socks there and yeah I, I, I continue to use this, these pouches from Traveler's Company because they fit uh, really nicely the smaller projects and then I am crocheting the granny stripe 
throw or blanket. I am using the yarn from A Homespun House. I'm part of her Patreon and she has three little minis every month uh, for her patrons. And this bottom part here is from Fibresque's uh, Advent that I haven't used up. And then from this peach color, I've been just using the Homespun House. So I think this is December, these three colors here. One, two, three is December, and then January, one, two, three, and then February's colors are one, two, three, and and I think that's March, and I thought I would it would be nice to kind of reveal it <laughs> together. But yeah, I'm having a good time. You can see I'm not very good with the edges, and it's very jagged. Uh, I'm going to try and research if there is a nice way to finish off the edges. I'm very much a beginner, like I said, and especially to crochet as well. This part is, this side is okay, I think. If I block it, it will be nice. But the other side, it's really <laughs> not even. And I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials um, available where I can just kind of see how to make a nice straight edge in the crochet but yeah I'm right about here um, I was knit not knitting I was crocheting where I would use up almost all of the yarn um, for example this peach one here I did a bit I did two or one point maybe 1 1.8 or something I decided to just do run one row instead of knitting it, uh, sorry, instead of crocheting it until all of the yarn is gone, I decided to just crochet one row and then I kind of, I don't know if you can see, but I've kept, or I'm going to keep them and maybe do some socks or something. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I'm not sure maybe socks or another throw or a blanket or um, I know Courtney Diaz she's doing like a jelly roll blanket I'm not sure how much yarn is needed for that but yeah so I've been keeping these just doing crocheting one row and then keeping the remaining yarn tucked away in here and I'm using a crochet hook in the 4.0 I don't know if that is different in North American or Europe terms but this is the 4.0 from a, a Japanese uh, Hamanaka crochet hook it's double-ended so there's a four and a six and nothing fancy it's just really easy uh, to take on the go especially in car rides um, so I thought I would open up the or let me show you a close-up of this one here and open up the, I think that's March. March's Patreon uh, yarn from a homespun house. Let's open that together while I have you here. I can already see kind of like a bright <laughs> color coming through. This is so cute oh my goodness this is so cute this is the March 2023 patreon minis there's lavender haze biscuit and farmers market oh this is so sweet these colors that is really really cute I'm not sure what I'm going to do next after the blue is finished. It's almost finished. Uh, this row is almost finished. And so maybe this... Oh, I, I wonder... I know she says sometimes that these are like uh, limited and sometimes she brings them back, I think. Um, but for the most part, they're limited to Patreon. And so... Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do... Maybe this one. I think I'm just going to do whichever one I feel uh, like grabbing when I finish this row here with the blue. But there's like really cute specks of 
this one especially the purple is not coming up as strong on camera but it's definitely like a purple in there with some pops of neon this very sweet pink color it's beautiful and this neutral like sand color as well I like I always like looking at it in this game format it's it's such a cute little thing but anyways so that's the video for today I, I thought it would be nice to kind of pop on here and share with you what I'm currently working on uh, like I said in Tokyo it's getting super I don't know the temperature is going up and down um, but like the other day it was 27 degrees and it was just way too hot <laughs> it was so hot and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish uh, this sweater. So I think I'm going to look for maybe a linen, a linen type of yarn to fade into uh, for the top portion of the sweater. And um, I was looking at Amirisu. We'll have to see. I'll share with you what I decide on. But yeah, I've kind of stopped here for now um, because I'm running out of the yarn okay if you have any questions just let me know and thank you so much for being here i will see you soon bye, -bye.